Hi, I hope you're well. So today I've got an Amazon haul for you for a few stationery items that I got as well as a Coffee Monsters Co haul. So let me show you what I got. I got a bit of a restock. I bought some more of these mono correction tapes and I get the ones that are 16 meters because they last me a good while. I, I use these all the time, whether it's to hide like dark lines underneath stickers or correct mistakes. And this is my favorite type and I will continue to replace this one over and over and over again. And the next things I got, I have actually had my eye on for a while. I am obsessed with Zig Clean Color Dot Markers. These things, and I don't really use this end, but this end has a sponge and then you make a little checklist and I use them every single day and I love them. But I find myself not reaching for all the colors because at the minute I have a bit of an obsession with like paler, um, smoky neutrals type colors. <laughs> and they release smoky neutrals. So of course, being the stationary addict that I am, I had to try them. But as well as them releasing the new colors, they actually made some changes to it. So let me show you. Yeah, I personally think it's a fantastic update. So they don't have the other end now, it's just flat. And like I said, I never use it. So let me compare it to this one here. This is what the other end looks like. So they've taken that away. It's also much thinner. If you look how thick this pen is and how thin that one is, it's just better for storage, I feel. And not that that's a major thing, the thickness, but it is better to hold. It's lighter weight and you'll fit more in a pencil case, for example. But yeah, that's another change. And then as well as that, they've changed the lid. So before the lid looked like this if you can see, and the new lids, which are again are thinner, have this kind of fancy top and detailing on the side. So that's the difference. And the thickness and the pen lid is obviously just a aesthetic thing, um, but I personally like them better. But this is a definite plus for me because that's a waste, I don't use them. So let me swatch them all for you and you can see what they're like. So here is where I swatched those other ones. Um, so this is my gray, the navy one, my purple one, this darker green, the lighter green, this darker blue. For some reason, I swatched this twice. <laughs> and this brown. So let me swatch the my neutrals, or the my smokies, I mean, here. And I'm able to tell um, the names. I looked them all up for you. So we have greyish green 409, which sounds like it's gonna be right up my street. Yep. <laughs> oh my word, this is gorgeous. I don't know what it is but I would reach for this, overreaching for these any day. I don't know whether it's just a phase or whether this is the new me. Another thing is, I wonder if they've improved. They have a tendency for all the ink to pile up here in the lid. I'm not gonna be able to tell you that now, whether these ones do that or not. It's something I'll have to update you over time whenever I find out. Um, one thing I'll note here, look, it says on the side that you do have to keep them horizontal. It's a water-based pigment to keep horizontal. So if you have these, know that you do, and I do store these horizontally, by the way, but I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. It is definitely something that you need to do. Anyway, so that's grayish green. Let's do peel moss. And how big the dot is depends on the pressure you put down. So this one is pale turquoise. So you hold it upright, straight, and push down, like so. And if you push down heavier, you're gonna hit a heavier dot. Whereas if you only touch it with a tip, you get a smaller dot, etc., etc. So this is wisteria. So I'll show you that again. You hold it upright and you push down harder for a bigger dot. And then the less you touch it, the smaller the dot. And then oatmeal. And 
and peel rose. Now I'm not a pink fan and I did actually own a cerise pink as one of these, like a dark pink, and I gave it away. Um, but as far as pink goes, because it is so mild, it is quite nice. And it might just be fun to have for something different. You could do like a grey and pink and maybe just the odd little dot of pink I could live with because it isn't so harsh. But they are stunning and I'm so glad I got them for the design, the new lids, the fact there's no marker on the end and the colours. And I know I use these dots day in day out. Right, so let me show you the other ones quickly. I'll do the swatch of them and then I'm going to do a comparison side by side to show you, for example, the difference in the two browns side by side and greens, etc. if you're interested. But let me do the swatch of these ones. These are the mild colours. So they're not mild smoky, but they're milder colours. So it must be the same. Like, for example, there's a blue and a purple, the way this would have blue and purple, but they're the milder version of them. Anyway, so we have English Lavender. Gorgeous. Powder Blue. Pale Mint. Butter. Peach Bliss. and baby pink. Now they look so close, but when you compare them, they're not. That's just bizarre. Anyhow, so yeah, I'm so glad I got them. I'll have a play about and do some dot side by side dots for you now um, and you can see if you're trying to make the decision between these and by the way whenever I was looking up the names of these I found a little graphic and these are actually called twin type and these are called single type actually says they're single so unless they're going to release all these in single type and release all these in twin type and give you the choice whether you want that end or not I don't know but there you have it so these are the two pinks. So this is the the one in the smoky set. And this is the one in the mild colours set. It's so bizarre that they look so similar, but yet the actual marker itself is completely different. So this is like the smoky colour in the, in the brown. And this is the fawn, I think it's called, and the the main like normal colours, originals. So this would be your normal original. And this is the new version. So you can see it's just that little tint of earthy, smoky loveliness. <laughs> and here's the greens. So these are the two greens in the other one. And then here's the two greens in the new one. So the mild colour, smokies. That grey green's my favourite. Let's do the purples. So this is the mild colour purples. The smoky purple. And the normal purple. And the blues, so these are all your normal blues. This one that's covered in ink at the top, I use all the time. Love it, the dark navy. And then, this is a mild blue, there was no smoky blue. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. I'm so glad I got them. Absolutely addicted to these things. So it's been a few days and normally I would wait until everything arrives and then film a haul all together. But I was just itching to try out those new dot markers and I went ahead. 
and I was waiting on my Coffee Monsters Co. order. But in the interim, I actually put up my Erin Condren Winter Seasonal Surprise Box unboxing. And since I did that, it's got me thinking about metallic pens and trying to find ones that um, write like a pen as opposed to being really thick like a marker. I talked a bit about it in there. And on the day that went that went up, two things happened. I saw a video from Plan Sarah Plan where she was trying out the best white marker and it was a Uniball Signo white marker. And then I also got a suggestion from a lovely subscriber to try out the Pilot uh, G2 Metallics. I think it's like Pilot Juice and Pilot G2. So I went onto Amazon and I had a nosy and I actually bought four of the Uniball Signo pens. One is a pack of three and the other one came in its own. And I put the Pilot ones in my basket for whenever I get paid. So that'll probably be in a haul later on because I definitely want to try them out. But I have the Uniball ones here. So I'm going to test them and see what they're like. And honestly, they look perfect. If the way the white Uniball Signo writes is anything to go by, then these three metallics should be great. This is the pack of three and this is the one that came on its own. And they're the real staples. So you have white, silver, gold, and copper and then with the pilot ones I'll link the pack I'm going to buy down below in case you're interested it has like a blue and a purple and lots of different colors in it and um, the only one I probably wouldn't use is the pink but that's one pen in a whole pack I can just give it to my niece or something so I definitely want to try them out so thank you for that suggestion but anyway let's have a play about with these and see what they look like right so let's start with our pack of three so this is what it looks like. It has a see-through case, apart from this sticker at the back. Um, and that is the pen. It looks like a ballpoint, but I do believe they are gel pens. I don't even know what thickness they are, to tell you the truth. Hold on. 0.8. So these ones are a tiny bit thicker. And when I say thicker, it's still better than trying to write, you know, if I wanted to write in gold, and I wrote with this, <laughs> this marker, it's still a bit of a difference and that's the point. I wanted good pens that were metallic. Um, gold. Oh my word. That is so nice to write with and it's so juicy. They are way but Like I said, I like the Erin Condren ones and I do, but this is way better way better. I'll do a comparison of them all in a wee minute. So gold. That is just so smooth and juicy. That's unbelievable. You're not going to be able to see the white. Well maybe, hold on. Let's do this 992 Tombow and let it dry and then I can write with the white over the top of it and hopefully you'll actually see it. Honestly I didn't really get it for the white to tell you the truth. Although it doesn't ha hurt to have a good white pen in your collection. Um, silver. That is so smooth to write with. That is crazy. So let's try this. I'm so impressed with them and that just appeared straight away. Hopefully that's showing up for you on camera. I'm so happy with them. I'm still gonna get the pilot. I'll get it for you guys to test out the difference and do a comparison of them all when I get them. But it, it just, I've wanted to have a good metallic pen in my collection for a while, especially around this time of year. Well, writing Christmas cards and presents and all, yes. And to be honest, I'll probably use these for that and keep these for my <laughs> actual planner. Um, but just to add that wee bit of something something to your spread without having to get out a big juicy marker, you know, and tr attempt to write small wording <laughs> and end up wrecking your spread. So this is the copper one. I'm really interested in this because I have a real thing for copper at the minute. Ooh. Look at me, Ian and Anne over a pen, but you guys get it. That is lovely. It does lean in the more orange side. Um, it's like the, the orangey side of copper rather than the brown side, bronzy side of copper, if that makes sense. But I still like it. 
it's lovely. I'm so happy I got these. Um, um, let me do a comparison in case you didn't see that other video of what they look like in par compared to the Erin Condren ones. So this is the Erin Condren gold. It's actually quite yellowy. Um, it's still juicy. It does the job, but it's just not as smooth to write with. You can just tell the difference in quality. This is the uni. I mean, look, look at that. That's more of a true gold. And it's just so smooth to write with. This is blue, so I don't really have a comparison, or cobalt it's called, I think. Let me show you what I got from Coffee Monsters. So back in September, um, Helen had a release for her 2022 advent calendar. And I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. But because it was a pre-order, it's only arriving now. You were just letting her know that you wanted one and then they manufacture them all and send them out. But I didn't split my order. I, because the postage and packaging is coming from Canada, I just ordered everything together. So because my advent was in the order, there's stuff that I'm only getting now that came with it. So let me show you that first. So this is the freebie that comes with an order. So as you can see, it was back in September that I purchased. And this is quite funny. She is actually gonna start offering a subscription, um, apparently. And I'm really curious to see how that's gonna work and what it's gonna be like. But she's done her little for you based on a subscription. So this one says subscription, has the little box and an emoji head. This one has the postman and the ghost, which is like, like us haunting the postman out for delivery <laughs> or stalking him pre-order and this impatient emoji and shipping notice and the emoji getting all excited which is really cute way to mark something like that um so so these are seal stickers and they have a gunmetal metallic which i thought was really unique this is the little witch that i actually have like the glittery sticker of hold on one second and i actually use two of them one in a monthly and one in the weekly spread but this is more, and I don't even know if this one's a vinyl. This was a special type of a one. It has like that glittery holographic in the background. The vinyl stickers that she has look more like this, that sort of thing. And you can stick them on water bottles and they're waterproof. But the seals are not, um, uh, but I love them. I love collecting them and they add that something special to your spread for whenever you're doing a special week in your planner. So I'll be able to add these to my little Halloween section. Um, so you get a ghost holding a book, this very sassy grumpy witch, a zombie lying over a pile of books, and then the little witch in the bath, the cauldron bath with the cat sitting beside it. And then as well as that, she released her Halloween washi. And this is my favorite washi for Halloween ever even over Spooky Neighbourhood, I think, which I really loved. And she's act it's called Cozy. And I'm really hoping that she's gonna continue this range. She has, if you remember, I got the Cozy, Cozy Halloween kit here, see? And it's a way of doing like the seasons and the holidays for neutral lovers. And she's actually released a Cozy Christmas washi, which I purchased. And um, that'll probably come later in the month. And I'm really, they're both in the Christmas one and this one are my favorite that I've ever seen and it's just I love this and it's so nice to be able to buy something that isn't like pink and orange and all those sorts of colors um for neutral lovers like me and I'm hoping she releases a kit of the cozy Christmas too but we'll see anyway I'll open one up and show you and if you remember in one of my plan movies, I was saying that our washies now roll from left to right which is really handy because before you would have had to go this way and you started that side of your planner and go the whole way over. So it's cool that you're able to roll it this way now. Random little point. <laughs> so that's it there and it's just gorgeous. It has a silver metallic in the background and it's like streamers hanging up in a party. And then there's a little RIP and there's a spider hanging from a web and it has a gray background. 
So this is, hold on, let's zoom in actually, make sure you can actually see it. So it has an emoji drinking a cup of coffee from a pumpkin mug. It has a witch emoji. It has an emoji wearing a pumpkin hat that has a ghost and a little cat behind it. It has my favorite, the grumpy Frankenstein. And this is really funny the way she did this. Um, she didn't just put the Dracula, she has it hanging upside down, which is just something a bit different and it's so fun. And in the way last year I received Spooky Neighbourhood around this time and then had to wait until Halloween that just passed to actually use it as a theme. I'm now going to have to wait to next Halloween to use this, but I can't wait. It's, it's just perfect. Anyhow, so I got two of them and then I actually got, now there was a set of four, I didn't get the cats, but this was a collaboration with a company called Wonder Pens and she has um, there was one thicker washi, the 15 millimeter, and then three 10 millimeters. And like I said, I didn't get the one with the little cat heads because as much as it's cute, I just decided I don't have cats and um, I was trying to be sensible with my money and not just buy things for the sake of it. So yeah, <laughs> let me open them up and I'll show you them all. So we have fountain pen emojis and these colors are all right up my street. So it has a pale brown in the background. And it actually, she always does that writing, uh, you know, in the back that says something funny. So let me read it. I think to myself, the history of the world has occurred, obviously, it's so weird. I should keep running and indirectly result in me running. I don't know, <laughs> it's just nonsense, basically. <laughs> she writes in the background, which I think is funny. Uh, so it has an emoji dipping the pen in the ink to fill it up. An emoji writing with a fountain pen in a book, another emoji writing with the ink beside it, an emoji holding a, the, a planner or a book holding a fountain pen, and then an emoji with just the fountain pen writing, and that actually has a little sort of heart line that continues on into the ink bottle and continues the pattern, and then the metallics are all silver, and it's like little drips of ink and hearts. And then here, the pattern actually continued. It's the same set of bottles with all different variations of colours and it's the same with the pens. They went on for a bit longer but that is the ink bottle doodles and the fountain pen doodles. So yeah, that's definitely going to be a little theme in my planner at some point. Right, now, so that leaves me with the advent calendar. Helen released it in 2020 originally, an advent she wasn't able to do one last year for various reasons, but the original one I didn't purchase because I thought, no, Ruth, you know your history with getting surprise boxes and subscription boxes. You're too fussy. Give it a miss just in case. And I totally regretted it. I was so annoyed. <laughs> I really was because I just love Helen's stuff. Her stuff is so unique. And I figured even if there's one or two things in it that I don't like, for me that her her stuff is worth the risk in the sense that I can give away the one or two things that I not use to get the unique things that I really love that I wouldn't get otherwise. That makes sense. So yeah, full transparency. I totally watched her spoiler video. I couldn't help myself. I had no willpower and I'm so happy that I bought it. So happy. However, I don't feel it's my place to sit and open them all here now. Um, I'm sorry and I hope you'll understand because um, I'm not an affiliate, I don't have permission and I don't want to spoil it for all the people who want to wait for the certain days. However, that means that we get to open them together on those days and I'm going to be doing it as part of Planmas. And even though I have watched the spoiler video, I've never seen this stuff in person and it's still exciting. I mean, I knew what all these were and it was still exciting to get to see them in person, hold them in your hands. So let's unbox them together. I thought that would be fun um, on the days they're meant to be. So let me show you. However, if you can't wait to then, you can always watch Helen's spoiler video. Um, I just don't feel like it's something I should be doing on my channel. Um, anyway, yeah, so where are we? We have day one, which will be opened on the 1st of December. So the very first day of Planmas. So you don't have to wait long. Can't believe it's so close. I've been planning it for so long now um, and I can't believe it's actually happening this week. Anyhow, <laughs> then we have, where are we? 
day two. Um, and that'll be the 3rd of December, this little package. And then we have day three, which is this little package, and that'll be on the 5th of December. And then day four is this little package, and it will be on the 8th of December. Day five will be on the 10th of December, and it's this little package. Day six, is here and it doesn't say but someone asked in the group and I believe it's the 13th of December and then we have day 7 which is the 16th of December day 8 is this little package and it's the 19th of December day 9 we have this package and it's the 22nd of December and then finally, day 10, there's 10 packages all together and we'll be opening it, opening it on the 25th of December. So I'll open these at the end of the videos for Planmas on those days and it'll be something fun to look forward to together. I'm really excited and I, if I can control myself, I promise I will. The, the fact that I know that I'm going to be opening it with you guys will give me the incentive and the willpower hopefully to not open it in advance <laughs> and then we can open it together so that'll be trying but anyhow and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and seeing the different bits of stationery that I got um, but until then take care and I'll speak to you soon